I'm sure by now you'll have seen those weird AI videos that look like LSD-fueled nightmares, or maybe some examples that have been generated with a more realistic look through tools like Sora. Now don't get me wrong, this technology really is quite incredible when it comes to creating a visual that just can't be done on a camera. But it begs the question, What's the point in it all? Sure, there's the fact that these tools can generate the exact shot you want for an advert without spending thousands on a cast or crew, but then again, we already have an endless amount of stock sites that can probably cover 90% of those shots. It's all well and cool that we can generate a clip of a cat with a beard or Dwayne Johnson eating rocks, but does this really add any value to anything? Will these short AI clips convert prospects into customers? Can these AI clips tell an engaging story that invokes emotion? At the minute, these tools just come across as a little bit gimmicky for me. However, that's not to say throw AI out of the window and go to media college for four years just to create a video. Today, I'm going to show you Vidibot, a text-to-video generation tool that'll create full-length videos that offer value, tell stories, and even boost sales. Before we jump into Vidibot, let's talk about the free aspect of this tool before I get crucified in the comments for so-called clickbaiting people. Most free online text-to-video tools use the credit system, which is basically where you get a set amount of generation tokens to use each day to create your videos. The problem with this system is that you're extremely limited to what you can actually create each day. You might type in your text prompt and spend your precious daily token to create a video, only to see the preview and think, hmm, that didn't work at all, I can't use this video. You refine your text prompt a little, click generate again, only to be greeted with a message that you're out of daily tokens. From a content creator's point of view, this kind of sucks. An integral part of creating content is all about testing and trying different shots, styles, animations, and text to get your message out clearly and effectively. To me, the whole token system just isn't viable if you're serious about creating high-quality, consistent content. With Vidibot, you'll be able to create as many AI creations as you wish, and yes, you can try this tool out completely free without the nuisance of those usual token limitations. If you follow the link down below, you'll have seven full days to create as many videos as you possibly can before you decide whether this tool is good enough for you. If you can create, say, 100 videos in seven days, then Vidibot will absolutely let you do this all completely free. Not only that, but videos come with over 3,000 and fully customizable templates you'll also have access to, as well as our full online editor you can use, again, all completely free within those seven days. If you want to get started right away, then all you have to do is just follow the link either in the description box or pin comment down below. So that's everything you need to know regarding the lack of limitation around video. Now let's jump into the video software and I'll show you exactly how it all works. So here we are within the video's platform and we're currently viewing the template library. To access Vidibot, we'll want to click the Vidibot tab just here at the top. Now as the tab title suggests, Vidibot is currently going through some beta testing at the time of recording this video. However, the feature is indeed fully functional and to be honest, it works pretty flawlessly even for a pre-release. The biggest flaw I've personally noticed is that the AI can generate some pretty random clips at times depending on the video we're trying to create. However, our developers are working on various solutions to make sure the AI picks the perfect clip 99% of the time. And even if the AI does choose something questionable, we'll be able to customise this manually anyway, which we'll get more into shortly. After selecting the Vidibot tab at the top, we can kick things off by selecting an animation style to apply to our video. All of our animation styles are pre-created by our very talented animation team here at Videos, meaning you won't have to spend weeks in After Effects creating these elements yourself. We add a bunch of fresh templates and styles to the platform every month, so your videos will always look fresh whenever you choose to post. To preview an animation style, simply hover your mouse over one to see how the animated elements move, and select one that fits well with your brand. Don't worry too much about the colours you see in the styles as we'll be able to customise these a bit later on. After we've selected a style for our video, we'll then be taken into the main Vidibot chatbox interface where all of the magic happens. The Vidibot chatbox works in a similar way to OpenAI's very popular ChatGPT. Just like in ChatGPT where you type an input and get a response, Vidibot will do the same. But Vidibot doesn't quite help you with your math homework or generate code for you to use on your website. Vidibot is purely focused on taking all of your text inputs and converting them into whatever video it is that you want. Unlike ChatGPT where we usually start the conversation, Vidibot will always ask us the first question, asking what type of video we want to create to get us started. So for today's example, I'll go ahead and I'll type in, I want to create a video to promote my product. Okay, looks like Vidibot is happy to help and wants to know the name of the product along with its price. So let's imagine I'm in the business of selling audio equipment and I want to promote a microphone that lets you record audio using an application on your phone. So I'll pretty much just tell that to Vidibot. I sell audio equipment and I want to promote a lapel microphone that lets you record audio using an app on your phone. The microphone is called the Tentacle Sync Track E and it costs $299. Great, we can see that Vidibot fully understands what I want to achieve, what the product is I want to promote along with its name and price. It's now asked if there is anything else I'd like to add about this product. This is where you can 
can give as much or as little detail as you want to include in your video. Do bear in mind the more information and detail you include in your text inputs, the more information and detail your final video will be. So I'm not going to go too crazy with details, I'll mention a couple of basic features for Vidibot to include. Let's go with, it has 12 hours of battery life, it can record up to 2 terabytes worth of audio, and it allows for 32-bit recording. Once again, Vidibot has understood the features I've provided, and has given some reasons why these features are good to have. Again, we could sit here all day and give more detail for what we want to include in our video, but for today, we'll leave it there for now, and I'll go ahead and click the request brief button just here. Vidibot has now provided us with a final detailed video brief based on our text inputs. Feel free to read over this to make sure you're happy with the general video flow. If there's anything else you want to add or remove, simply ask Vidibot to make the amend, and it'll be more than happy to help. However, if all looks good, we can go ahead and click the Create Storyboard button here. Now, this is where our video really starts coming together. After a moment or two, Vidibot will create a monochrome storyboard completely based on our conversation. At a glance, everything looks structured pretty well, and this is a great starting point for me to make any final tweaks. If Vidibot's storyboard doesn't quite fit with your vision, you can click the Create Different Storyboard button here, and Vidibot will whip up something fresh. Once you're happy with the general look and flow of your video, we can click the Visiting Editor button here at the top to make our final adjustments. So here we are within the video's editor, where we'll polish this AI creation and completely make it our own unique creation. We can see straight away that the animation style we selected earlier has been applied to our video, but we still need to customise our colours. There's a couple of ways you can customise your colours, depending how much you want to customise your video. The first method is by customising the individual ingredients. The term ingredient refers to the individual clips that make up our full video. If we click edit on one of our ingredients, we'll be able to adjust things like the text or images seen, depending on the ingredient type. We also have the colour tab just here on each ingredient. If we select this, we'll be able to use the colour picker like so to change the colours of that particular ingredient. But what if we're looking to apply a consistent set of brand colours to our whole video? Not a problem, all we need to do is head to the branding tab here, where we can select a brand we've already set up within our video's account to apply all branding elements to our full video in just a couple of clicks. This includes all colours across our video, and even integrates our logo into specific logo ingredients. Setting up your own brands within videos literally takes seconds, so this tool can be a big time saver if you're creating a lot of content for a particular set of brands. So now we've got our branding in place, let's explore what else we can do to further refine this creation. If the AI didn't word your text the best, we can simply adjust it using the text boxes here on the left side. Or maybe the AI threw in some completely random images. Not a problem, we can select replace on the image we want and upload our own media if we wish to do so. If you don't have your own images to upload, then you can also use the stock integration tools to search for something and upload an image that way too. Or maybe you feel the flow of the video is a little bit off. Just use the handles on the left side here to rearrange and reposition the video ingredients for a better story. Or if you feel like something's missing, you can even click the blue plus button here to add extra video ingredients. And of course, remove any that feel redundant just by selecting the remove ingredient option here too. You'll have full flexibility to tweak your AI creation and get it exactly how you want in the video's editor. After we've got all our visuals looking good, we can head into the audio tab here next. This is where we can preview and choose from a wide range of music tracks to integrate into our creation. After we've settled on a suitable track, we'll be able to see a full preview of our video just by clicking the play button here at the bottom. If all's looking good, all we have left to do is hit the export video button here at the top, and videos will do the rest. Once our video has finished rendering, we'll then be able to download it either in an MP4 or GIF format, ready for it to be shared online or sent out in emails. So the moment we've all been waiting for, sit back, relax, and let's view our text-to-video AI creation. And there we have it, a simple product promo we put together in no time at all, with a little help from our artificial friends. Remember, Vidibot doesn't use a daily token system, so you can create as many AI videos as you want, completely free, for 7 full days, just by following the link either in the description box or pinned comment down below. Try it yourself, and see what you think. You won't regret it. Thanks very much for watching, hit that like button, and as always, happy creating. Hey!